Have you ever been on an airplane and looked down at all the water spreading out below you? Life as we know it consists of water. That's where we can induce chemical reactions that are needed for new life. Imagine colonization of Mars. Imagine that in the future, it will be possible for humans to live there, to breathe, to survive. For that to become a reality, we will need to find water on the planet. Researchers at the Luleå University of Technology have done just that. They have discovered evidence of liquid water after analyzing data from Curiosity, NASA's rover that has been operating on Mars since 2012. The researchers could see an exchange of water from the surface of Mars and the atmosphere. There are salts on Mars with properties that can capture water molecules and water vapor in the atmosphere and then produce liquid saline solutions on the surface. These saline solutions are produced every night. A very important requirement for the production of these saline solutions is that they only occur at very low temperatures, below minus 55 degrees Celsius. The saline solutions are produced on the surface during the night, but during the day, they evaporate very quickly. Habit is an instrument that we have developed for the European Space Agency. Uh, Habit will fly in the ExoMars mission that will be launched in 2020 and will reach Mars around nine months later. Habit is an instrument that is relying on a previous instrument that we had in the Curiosity rover. Uh, in, in Curiosity rover, we have an instrument called REMS, REMS which, is, which is a meteorological station. We have several parts of REMS that now are part of Habit. Uh, the part that Habit is divided in two blocks that we, we call it. One is called Env Pack, which is the part that is very similar to the instrument on, on Curiosity, which is the meteorological station. And then we have uh, the very novel part of Habit, which is called Bottle. Uh, in Bottle is where we do an experiment, where we do the experiment of producing liquid water on Mars. And uh, the, the bottle uh, uh, instrument or, or module or package is, uh, is composed of vessels. And in, one, in each of these vessels, we have uh, one of the salts that we know are existing on Mars. And a peculiarity of those salts is that they can produce liquid water when they absorb it from the atmosphere. So what we are going to do is to take those salts, the same ones that we know are on Mars, we put it on the vessels, we expose the vessels to the atmosphere of Mars, we wait, and we see how liquid water is produced. So, what does it really mean that we can produce liquid water on Mars? It means that we can produce water to drink, which means we can cultivate food in greenhouses, which means we can survive. A future in which humans can live on Mars can become a reality much faster than we think. <laughs>